Well, thanks, Gary. Here at the halftime show, we welcome in Mike Chamberlain here, Associate Director of Athletics for Student Athlete Development, obviously, and for Compliance. So, Mike, great to have you here. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Well, let's talk about your background a little bit, Mike. You've been here on campus for three years, but you come from Radford. You've been out west in Oregon for a little bit of a while. You spent some time at Stony Brook, which is an up-and-coming Division I school as well. Tell me what brings you back to Lafayette and what do you like so much about it? Yeah, every experience has been, you know, incredibly unique. Uh, Lafayette's certainly the first very, very high academic uh, achieving school. And I think that piece of it is something I was looking for, uh, along with, um, you know, our athletic director, Sharita Freeman. I've known her for 12 years now. From your time at Temple? From my time at Temple, I, you know, I'm an alum. Uh, and, you know, two and a half years ago, she called and was like, hey, I'm first time AD. I want to do all these, like, new and exciting and vibrant things. And lo and behold, you know, I was I was her choice, and I'm so happy to be here, and it's it's an awesome, it's been an awesome experience. So Sounds great. I mean, you obviously, and she's put you in charge. This is your first time doing this, what you're doing with compliance, uh, but uh, having such a close relationship with the people up on the Hill, financial aid, obviously, admissions. Tell me what that's like to work with them, because there's nothing more important. I was a recruiting coordinator for football for seven years. Nothing more important than a good rapport with the people up on top of the Hill. Yeah, so it's, it's awesome here. We have both our coaches and obviously our student athletes. They're, again, high academic achieving. So the, the academic benchmarks that we have to hit constantly are extremely high. And it's something that all of our student athletes, you know, excel at both as prospects and once they're here. Um, as far as the other offices on campus, I can't say enough about the financial aid office, the international office, the admissions office, how well they work with our, our prospects, our student athletes, our coaches, myself, our department. It, it certainly makes everything run and that's great. It's an easy transition. We're working with people that are on the same page as you, that want to get those kids in, want to see them matriculate. Now let's turn the page a little bit. Last July, the NCA talked a little bit about name, image, and likeness. They talked about being student athletes being able to monetize their name and their brand. Tell me a little bit about that because I know it's a temporary thing. I think it's going to be full time, but name, image, and likeness. Kids can actually make money off of their own name and monetize that. Yeah, so it's 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 certainly interesting, right? Uh, on July 1st, last summer, uh, all student athletes could monetize their name, image, and likeness. What that means is constantly changing. I mean, you see, you know, the Texas's and UNC's of the world, those student athletes are potentially bringing in six figures, whether it be, you know, posting things on social media or car dealership deals. Uh, here at a school like Lafayette, it's maybe a little different. We have certainly student athletes who have large, you know, followings on social media and how they how they make those you know deals and, and all of that is, is very interesting and we're partnered with influencers so that's a company we partner with that helps us sort of navigate this space does it make your job any easier because you mike has to be in charge of making sure that they do comply with everything with the ncaa but i, I don't know if i could still put my number 11 no one would buy it uh, certainly but uh, uh, and quickly mike the ncaa has had some changes anything out there on the horizon real quick yeah, so the NCAA convention uh, just just wrapped up, right. and uh, one of the, the biggest changes is uh, sort of this this new look NCA. What is that going to look like? Um, it'll be interesting to see each division. So Division One, Two, II, and Three now has total control over their right. governance structure and their rules, and what that means for the future of NCA is something that you know we're all excited for and. It could be positive, negative, no one really knows, but it's it's certainly exciting. Well, having Sharita in charge and obviously you underneath her, we know we're well prepared. Thank you so much for a couple minutes. Appreciate it. Pleasure. Gary, back to you. Thanks. I've tried to monetize John's name and likeness, <laughs> and I haven't gotten very much for that. <laughs>